handles everything. So we're going to just work it out step by step. So I've started this way. Now I'm going to have to move the camera a little bit here and adjust it to where you can see everything that I'm working on. And again, everything you need is at tipsyartist.com. And um, that's always in the description too. So you can always find it. And if you can't find it, I have a lot of kits to choose from. So if you can't find it, just email me info at tipsyartist.com and I will hook you up and give you the link to that. All right, so I'm going to adjust the camera now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy. In theory, this worked earlier. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it down. And we're, we're having progress. We're gonna turn it. And I'm gonna get it in position. Here we go. <laughs> Bear with me. All right, so yes. Stay in all right, so here we go. We've got a great start. Move my little keyboard out of the way. And then let me go ahead and adjust my sound just a little bit. I think we're okay on that. All right, so we've got our tote bag here. I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out just like this, flat. And, you know, if you're really a great student, you would iron this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. So I'm going to leave mine just the way it is. All right, and then you've got your transfer paper. I'm just going to go ahead and center this right in the middle here. And then you've got some awesome tape. This does uh, work really well in securing this to our surface area. I'm going to go ahead and take a little strip of it, just like that. Kind of like medical tape is what this is. It works really well with adhering this to the fabric. A lot of our kits, we use a washi tape, but I've been discovering this medical tape lately, and it's quite awesome. It has a really good stick to the fabric. So, you know what, let's see, actually I'm going to not forget that last move. I'm going to go ahead and not do that. I'll tell you why here in a second. I want to be able to lift up my work and see that I've made it okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this all up here at the top. Alright, so that'll keep it really secure. I might even do a few more just here on the sides. All right, now let's go ahead and take our design. Just center it just like that. And then we'll go ahead and just tape right here. And again, we have all this in the kit that so makes it super easy for you so you don't have to try to hunt down everything in the store. All right, so we're really good on that. So then the next step that I'm going to do is we've got a pencil that comes with it. And I'm going to go ahead and just work right over the top. Oh, one other thing that's really important here is on my transfer paper, I have the dull side facing up and then the shiny side is facing down. That's super important. That way you know your design will transfer over to the surface area. Again, just reinforce this line here. And you can check your work. This is why I didn't want to go ahead and tape here at the bottom because I can lift up and I can check my work and make sure that all my lines are done. So that is super handy. I'm just going to follow this. I 
don't normally do this as part of my tutorial process. Well, a lot of that has had to do with my camera angles. And I finally have that figured out. I'm super excited. I keep learning more and more new tricks to have a better presentation. And I want to make sure and say hello to everybody out there. I'm going to check Facebook really quick. There's usually somebody, <laughs> usually a lot of people out there with me. And let's see. Let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to go to my page and just check it out. Get any feedback. I think I've got my audio levels set up very nicely, but I just want to be sure. I'm going to go to my tipsy artist page. All right. So I've got my wonderful sunset done. Now I'm going to go ahead and start working on these little birds. Okay, so we're going to scroll down real quick. I'm going to do a quick check here. Check out a live audience, see if it's happening. Hmm, I don't see it. I'm going to refresh that page. I do want to make sure we're live in those places. Let's see. Let's check one more time. Are we live? We are fantastic. Okay. All right. So hopefully somebody out there can give me some feedback and let me know if they hear me okay over the music. I think we're doing good. It looks good on my end, but I always like to check just to be sure. All right. So I'm going to get back to drawing. I'm doing my tracing now. I am working on the palm trees. Just taking this step by step. And again, if you're not sure, you can always see a little bit of the pencil line over the top, but I know it can be a little bit confusing. And sometimes you might miss different areas because the colors are so similar. So again, that's why we leave this bottom untaped so that we can again check our work but you can see it is transferring beautifully so we're very happy about that And the wonderful thing about this project, you can see how versatile it could be, how you could do a wide variety of designs on a, a lot of different surface areas. We provide a lot of designs for you, so we do all of that design work. And if you have any ideas that you'd like to see us do too, we're all about that as well. So, turns out that if you have that idea, then Probably a lot of other people might want to have an idea as well. All right, so now we're doing little waves. Having that come in right over the top.
We're almost done. It's very exciting. Progress. So I feel like I got everything, but let's go ahead and lift up from the base and check our work. All right, so we have a great start here. You see how that transfer works beautifully? So now what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and look back down here. I think it looks great. So I'm going to reinforce that just a little bit more. Now I will lift off completely. It lifts off very easily. All right, now one thing that's really important now is you don't want whatever you start to work through here to actually seep through the canvas. So if you don't have anything, like you could even just have a little uh, file folder that I think is a little bit more ideal, but if you don't have anything at all, you can actually just take this, this transfer paper and the paper and it will actually work as a barrier in between the two layers of the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this up and just place that in there behind my work. You can see it. You can actually just see how I'm opening that up and I'm just placing that in. You can even use some of that tape to kind of, you know, just keep that secure in there. So it is totally behind what I'm doing. That will help protect your work. And then again, if you want to add a little bit more firmness with something a little bit more like this is, you know, has some stiffness to it. So if you want to add that, you certainly can. So that's another layer that you can do, but optional, totally optional, because what we have provided for you, that transfer paper and the paper will definitely uh, create a nice barrier that will keep any of that uh, paint or the permanent marker from bleeding through. So you're going to be all good to go. All right, so now I am ready here, and I'm going to go ahead, let's shift this up a little bit so you can see all of the design. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my permanent marker. I do this just so it really helps preserve the design. And I'm going to grab, I'm looking at my desktop here. I've got this picture. There it is. You can't see this, but I can. Here we go. All right. So what I'm going, I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hard line in um, um, everything that is, that is black, black in there just to make sure we preserve that. that. So I've got my permanent marker. marker. This actually, this comes, actually comes with your kit. And I'm going to go, go ahead and work into that, that shape. shape. Palm trees will be a silhouette. silhouette. It's already, it's already looking really great. Really great. So I'm going to join in the force line that we did. did. And beginners, beginners really love really this. this. Again, it is it very is easy, easy, very fun to do, to do creates, creates great, great results. results. And you can and also you can see, see that, that it, it also creates a really beautiful, beautiful just pencil, pencil look to the transfer does. does. So if you, you know, do not, not like the heavy, heavy lines, lines, you can keep it lighter, lighter if you want. You want. That's an option. Since this design work is a heavy black, to me it just makes a lot more sense to go ahead and come in with a heavy black line. But then I'll go ahead and color all this in. Just creates a nice face, and you can certainly come back over this with black paint. As a finishing touch as well. So 
So this is a great bag for going to the beach. All right, and see how pretty it's looking? Let's go ahead and get the rest of this shape all filled in. Again, this is just the silhouette of our palm trees. I love this project because it creates a lot of success for people. Really great results. Makes people feel good. Really nice sense of accomplishment when they're done. I'm going to go ahead and do my little birds here. Again, this is just a nice little trace right over the top of our work that's provided for you with that line art. All right, super, super pretty. Okay, so now we can actually start to do a little bit of painting. All right, so I've got my paint kit nearby. You'll have this full set. So lots of really fun, colorful options to choose from. And I've got one that's already open. You can see, <laughs> I've been having fun already. All right, so, and then I've got my paint plates ready to go. These actually come with the kit, too. I do, I got a little bit uh, started, I got a little bit of an early start here with a little bit of some white and some black, and I've got my bucket of water nearby, and then also the brushes that come with your kit might have been a little bit loved, but this is my mama brush. It's a half-inch flat tacklon brush, and then we have little buddy quarter-inch flat tacklon brush, and then little bit. So this is just a little uh, liner brush, round, round tacklon brush. And then of course we've got your napkins that come in the kit there. And all right, so let's take that plate. And again, this is the titanium white and Mars black. You don't need as much as I've got here. I always load up with quite a bit because I'm always working on so many projects. But I'm going to grab, this is again, titanium white. And then Mars black. And then, um, I've always got those on hand. Now let's go ahead and mix up some blues. All right, so we've got our primary cyan blue. We're going to start with this. Let's do just like a nice nickel size amount, heaping dollop nickel size amount there. And then I'm going to take my little buddy brush let's go ahead and push into that a little bit let's grab a little bit of white just a little bit i want to maintain that dark quality of it but just one step lower one shade lower so that's really pretty i'm loving that all right so we're going to go ahead and work into the shape here Again, just a little bit of white with our primary cyan blue. And 
I'm using the brush, really just holding it a lot like a pencil to get that nice line edge to do the work for me. And then as I fill into a larger shape, of course, you can turn the handle of the brush over to the side. Let that flat side of the brush work into that bigger shape there. Take it up to a point. Now the belly is getting a little bit uh, full of paint, but I need that to be pressed out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do some firm pressure back into the paint. Still keeps it loaded, but then nice thin edge to give me a little bit more control so I know where the paint will land when I go ahead and place it onto the surface area. Alright, so that's a beautiful first stroke there. Now I want to come in a little bit lighter here. I want a hint of turquoise on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some Viridian. We'll do a little pea size amount over there. Let's go ahead and pull that in with a little bit of white, a little bit of Viridian, and I still have that cyan blue on there as well. My brush was loaded with that. So you can see it's creating a really beautiful turquoise color. I'm going to add a little bit more of that primary cyan blue. All right, that's getting there. Beautiful turquoise color. And then I'm going to, again, just hold the brush just more like a pencil. Take it all the way around. And then we'll just start to fill this in. It definitely has more of a turquoise feel to it. All right, looking really good. And then I've got some more up here, but I do need to switch brushes. These curves are becoming uh, quite a bit more circular, and so I'm going to be switching over to my Little Bit brush. And here is Little Bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just add a nice little tiny touch of water here. Let's work that in. Now do a quick little spin. That's the turquoise. So again, that was that mix of Viridian, primary cyan blue, and the white. And I'm going to go ahead and work into that curve. And if you're having a hard time getting a nice opaque coverage, sometimes adding a little bit of water to this will help. Helps that paint flow into that space. And the hold on the brush is, again, very similar to how you would hold a pencil.
All right, it's looking really beautiful. And again, still using my little bit brush and I'm using a mix of that Viridian primary cyan blue and the white. Kind of spin out the head of the brush before we go to apply it here. Just going to take that into a nice little curly cue there. We'll do another little section here. Grab a little bit more of that Viridian and the white. I want some contrast next to this shade of blue. We'll just have it flow right into that shape. And here in a moment, we'll be grabbing some more white too, which will be a nice little touch of a change in there. Okay, so let's see. Decisions, decisions. All right, I'm gonna rinse out my little bit brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and dry it off a little bit. Now we're going to come into just a little bit of some clean water and some white. And then we will work in this white into the shape of that wave. And you can see we're getting a little bit of a soft blend in with the next Color that's just neighboring nearby that is totally good we don't mind that working into it that nice soft blend is a nice little touch there if your paint is already set up and dry and you don't have a nice soft blend that's okay too if it's just pure white and totally contrasting that's totally fine as well but to have a little bit of that soft blend come into the white is also a really lovely little, I guess I like to say, a little possibility that happens. I always say there are no mistakes, only possibilities. All right, then you can come back into a little bit of that primary cyan blue and viridian. Let's go ahead and do another little spin into that, and then we'll work around the outside of that white. I like to do that with some immediacy. That way there is definitely a soft blend into the white. It's a nice transition. All right, and I'm going to rinse that a little bit, come back into more of that primary cyan blue and the white, which matches that initial color that we did here in the beginning. We'll just do a nice little fade right back into that. right over the top.
All right, that is looking so good. Okay, so next step, we'll be working on our sunset. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, clean little bit out of the water. So again, I just did a little swirl there, a little swish, round and round and round, firm pressure, then pull it out and we go ahead and dry it off over here. Let's do the same thing with our little buddy. Just kind of get to where you can see that. All right, so round and round and round, firm pressure. And then let's go ahead and lift out to a little scrape on the edge of the bucket. We're all clean. Let's go ahead and dry that off. If you notice it's not quite clean, then just go ahead and do one more rinse. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and work in a beautiful sunset. So we have our Academy of Orange. Let's go ahead and get a lot of that going. I need quite a bit of paint, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with more of a quarter size heaping dollop. And let's grab a little bit of some cadmium red too for a little bit of depth in there. Not as much, a little pea size amount there. And then let's grab for fun, let's go ahead and get some cadmium yellow. Oh, I'm sorry, this is primary yellow. We we do have cadmium yellow. Let's go ahead and get a visual. We're gonna grab some of this too, cadmium yellow. Let's do some primary yellow first though. Another big quarter size amount heaping dollop there. And then let's grab that cadmium yellow and get a nice big dollop of that. All right, beautiful. All right, so around the edges of my sunset, I'm gonna have some darker shades. So we're gonna be using more of this cadmium orange and the red. And then as we get towards the center, we're gonna have a softer glow. So it's gonna have more of the cadmium yellow and the primary yellow in the center. But I've got my mama brush. This is my half inch Taclon flat. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the orange. Maybe a little bit of that uh, cadmium red as well that darker shade I was talking about. Press back and forth. You can add a little touch of water to this too, very little, you don't need that much, but you can add that too to help it maybe cover a little bit better. And then I'm gonna hold this just like a pencil using that edge side of the brush. You do wanna make sure that you have a nice thin line edge. So sometimes you have to apply a little bit of pressure, firm pressure. Let's do that again for good measure. So still loads the brush, but firm pressure back and forth on either side. Let's check our end. There it is, nice and thin. And then this helps you get around the edges of the shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pull this tight a little bit here, it's had a little crease. Take this all the way around. Again, this is a little bit more of the cadmium red mixed with the cadmium orange. Watch it here, these uh, colors, you don't want those to blend at all. So we're gonna let this have more set up and dry time. And then we're gonna concentrate on working into the other areas that don't have any wet paint nearby. Do a little dab right there. More of a reminder, I gotta get back in there. But now we're gonna come back into this section here. Let's grab a little bit more of that cadmium orange. Work this in. And if you are uh, struggling again with transparency, remember you can grab just a tiny little touch of water. Basically all I do there is I just take a little dip with my brush into the water, add that in. 
And again, that helps that paint really kind of flow into all those porous areas of the fabric. Break this in back and forth. And as you work into the larger areas, you can shift how you hold the brush. And again, kind of hold it more over to the side. Let that flat side of the brush touch the surface area and that allows more paint to rest on top of that surface. Grab a little bit more of that cadmium red to do a nice transition in between so I don't have a dark line there on the edge. I'm going to grab more orange, work that back in. Let's kind of feather that out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of crisscross the brush a little bit, working that in. I'm going to have to have a lot more orange. All right, so let's go ahead and again, let's grab our cadmium orange. Let's get a little bit more of that on the plate here. I will give you a visual on that. So another big dollop of that. Work that in. And as much as possible, I'm going to try to go ahead and just cut in around these palm trees. The birds, those are so simple, and theoretically they should bleed through. So I'm going to go ahead and probably do a little bit of an overpaint on that. Using the line edge of the brush to really do the work for me. Get right next to that edge. Add a little bit more water to that cadmium orange. See, I can do a little bit of an overpaint. So I added, see what I did here is I took another little dip into the water. I added quite a bit more water to my orange. I made it more like a watercolor consistency here. That way it allows me to get right up next to the edge of the bird here. And I don't have to be too cautious about protecting that line edge. But the paint has a really translucent quality. So it preserves that shape of that bird. Again, loving this almost watercolor quality to it. So lots of water into the paint to make it translucent. Using my Big Mama brush and just getting right next to the edge of the bird here. Just gives you a little bit more freedom to not be too stressed about a perfect cut in line. As you can see that black is just, it's bleeding through beautifully. And also that watery consistency of that lighter, it makes the orange a lot lighter and it gives more of a nice glow right in the center. 
And then especially with these, they get quite a bit more delicate. So it allows those to completely show through as well. So again, just a really gentle overpaint right over the top with this watered down cadmium orange. And if you want to start to add a little bit more of that lighter glow in here, you can. You can add in touches of that cadmium yellow or even the primary yellow. We we'll still kind of keep it a little bit more of that watery texture. It's because it's working really well as we get close to the dark shapes here. I want to try to make this as easy for you as possible. So eliminating stressful cut and work is a big part of that. I always try to do that as much as possible. because it is supposed to be relaxing. Painting is such a good thing to run to when you are stressed. <laughs> because life can be a little bit stressful and it just really helps you disconnect from all of that and forget about it while you're in this moment and it allows you to be in the present moment. It's very, very helpful. I think it is the cheapest therapy. I also feel like it has almost like a dreamlike quality to it in the sense that I know that when your mind goes to dream at nights, you will actually come up with ways to creatively solve your problems. And I feel like there's a nice opportunity for the subconscious mind to respond to whatever is maybe giving you some trouble. So you can get lost in the present moment when you're doing this and then have solutions come to the surface through this process. So again, I'm maintaining that really nice watery consistency, bringing in nice touches of the cadmium yellow, primary yellow, and then our cadmium orange. Working this all the way around here. So you can see I, I do have little areas where there's just a touch of overpaint over the top of the palm trees. I will come back in and fill that in with black as our last step. Right now I'm just really trying to make sure I get great coverage with our sunset. And then I've got this nice translucent look I'm going to do right in through here. This is a perfect example of a tight space or just a little bit of that over paint is our friend. We can just kind of come right in over the top. That black will show through and then we can add in more of a precise black at the very end. Right now, just working on the warmth. more water, yellow, cadmium, yellow, orange.
So I've got this little uh, dark line happening here. I want to eliminate that. So I'm going to touch into a little bit more of that cadmium red. Kind of pull that in. Softly pull that towards the center. A nice soft blend between those two. That's really nice. It adds a nice, almost like a pink look to my sunset. Let's do the same thing here. I grabbed a little bit more of that cadmium red, pulled that into the center. Coming back in with more water and more of the warmer tones of my cadmium yellow, primary yellow, and my cadmium orange. Lighten it up a little bit. All right, looking good. Now we have little bitty detail work right in through here, so I am going to have to switch my brushes over to little bits. Sorry, I was <laughs> talking and thinking at the same time. All right, let's grab our little bit brush, smallest brush we've got. Same color palette here. Our warm tones, still keeping that little bit of a watery consistency. This is our cadmium yellow, primary yellow, cadmium orange. And just hold it just like you'd hold a pencil. This is a round tacklon brush. We're just going to go ahead and work in and around these small little areas here. Looking gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to do a little bit more of a touch up. What? Something a little bit different happening here. I'm going to bring my little bit brush and my Beridian. Let's grab a little more water. Sometimes you just look at something and you're not quite happy with the original. So I'm going to bring in a little line there. this in with more of that blue. Let's grab a little bit more water. Help that paint flow into that space. Take this out to a nice fine point. Very fun. Now we need to reemphasize just the tiny amounts of black that are just needing a little bit of a touch up. So I've got a clean little bit brush now. And we've got some of our Mars black. Let's get a visual on that. And let's go ahead and do a little twist here into the black. 
And I'm definitely going to add a little bit of water because our black, it's a really nice, all the paints that come with the kit are really nice and thick. And so sometimes we just have to have that little bit of water to help them flow into space a little bit more ease. So I'm going to do a little bit of a twist here, nice fine point. And then let's go ahead and work into these shapes. Spot there. So you can do an overpaint over the permanent marker too. We have to be really careful and not get too much water on this or it will create a run. So we have to be really delicate with that. Just use mostly paint and I would say just squeegee it out. Be really careful and just squeegee out all that water. We want maybe sometimes just enough to help thin the paint out, but then let's just squeegee it out. Make sure there's no excess water at all in the belly of that brush. And then if you struggle with that, I will also say that the easiest step, maybe for beginners, well, you could go with just straight paint and just take your time with it. That way you won't have to worry about any water runs at all on the surface. Also, just coming back in with more permanent marker over the top would be another option as well. If you have a shaky hand and you're concerned about working in but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the touches of the black paint right over the top. So an actual primed canvas has a little bit more forgiveness with the water, but this canvas being raw without being primed has very little forgiveness with any excess water. And so the water will basically just run and flow into the design very quickly. You can kind of see how it did that there. I'm going to embrace the possibility of a nice shadow there, but I did want to show you that so you could see how that looks. And how quickly that can sneak up on you. And so this beautiful black paint just right over the top has a nice lustrous look to it. And we'll do this into all the little tiny points of the palm tree. Take this all the way down. And the points of the palm tree too, I would say in order to maintain that point, you're gonna have to kind of go out and then lift off with a nice light hand to maintain that really thin line as you get out towards that very end. Because if you come in and go, if you start here, you're going to get a blunt uh, force of a hit with the brush, and it's going to create a thickness on the end where it should be tapered and thin. So you want to make sure you start here in the center and then take it out to a nice thin point and then lift off with a light hand.
All right. Man, I think we're done. That looks so good. All right, so this is our beautiful tote bag design. And now you can just let it set up and dry. It'll be all set for your beautiful vacation to the beach. We're going to have so much fun. We're planning on going to North Carolina. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I've had so much fun with y'all. This has been a really relaxing time. And again, everything you need for this is on our website at tipsyartist.com. And we'll see you soon. Doodles.